So what's going on guys, I'm going to create a quick video here. If you didn't hear, Cyan Gemini just worked on Google Chromecast. There's a link in the description to the video. You can stream any video or audio from your mobile device to the TV. Obviously it has to be an Android device rooted. This guy does some crazy stuff with Android. You have to check it out. And I think it's great news for people that can get Chromecast. I'm still waiting for mine from Amazon. But when I use it, I'm thinking about rooting my phone just to have this extra capability. And you know what? Google should probably take some ideas from Cyan Gemini and put this into the device itself. Now continuing on, I want to talk about some stuff that's going on with Apple. A lot of people are questioning me on the phone calls I just made to them. I was not really thinking that Apple was going to respond the way they did. I called originally to talk about the eBooks, but in the first conversation, which is the first phone call I posted, this guy starts talking about Android and trashing it and saying that there's malware and all this stuff. I'm like, what the heck? So when I hung up the phone with that guy, I was like, you know what? I'm going to call them back and I want to see if these people keep saying the same thing. And they did. Now one of the person was getting a little defensive and someone also asked me about that. You know, the guy didn't like all the questions. He's like, what, you a reporter? I don't know. I mean, if I'm a consumer and I'm asking you the details about your device, don't you think you would want to answer the question so I buy the device? We're talking about an iPad. That thing is like, the mini iPad I think is like four or five hundred dollars, whatever it is. I think if someone's interested in buying a device, you just might want to answer the questions and be honest. When you say that an Android phone has no protection from any malware, it's just not true. The phone comes stock now with Android that it will notify you if some unauthorized application you know, is trying to install on your phone. Now also, if you authorize your phone to install the application, there's a setting feature like I just said, you're going to have to take responsibility. It even says it. It says it. When you select that option, it's going to say you are taking responsibility to have unauthorized applications installed on your phone. So Android and Google actually saying to you, okay, the phone is yours. We trust you on knowing what to do with your phone. Now, Apple's opinion is that, well, they just think there's no protection on the Android phones. I actually think it's just being dishonest because if I'm going to call a company and I want to know about the product they sell, and then all of a sudden they start telling me why I shouldn't be buying a product from another company, I'm probably going to look to the other company and see what's going on for myself and see if what they're saying is true. Now this whole thing with Android, it's not. And the more times I called Apple and I started finding this stuff out, I was like, wow, these guys don't even need to be convinced to talk about Android while they're talking about an iPad? Come on, that's just some weird stuff going on with Apple. I think it's probably some memo everyone got. And I think what's happening is that when Apple does these presentations, the people who pay attention, they're going to listen to Apple and find out that they're saying stuff about Android that's not true. And then the reviewers out there, they start saying the same nonsense. And then everyone's saying it that likes Apple. And I think what's happening is that the people who actually have, you know, no favorite company, they're like, what the heck? I guess Apple's products are safer. I think it's a dirty way of doing business. And I think people like me are going to explain what Apple is actually trying to do. And what they're doing is they're competing once again, unfairly, and they're not telling the truth because if those customer service people actually believe what they were saying to me, they would have argued or debated with me over the topic, at least give a good response. They didn't. I just told them what they were saying wasn't true. They were surprised because after I said that, they don't say anything and everyone's waiting for like a response and then they're like, oh, okay. And it's like, why did you say a couple minutes ago that Android has no protections from malware? You're a liar. You are a liar. I was actually going to call the video, you know, not the misinformation from Apple, the lies that Apple tells because those are just lies. I don't go into the Apple store and start naming all the things that are wrong with the Apple stuff. I just look and say, all right, it's cool, whatever. They work with some cool companies. They work with Intel, Samsung. I have no problem with Apple until they lie. But the one problem they're having with Android is that Android does not not have the image of lame or you know geeky or nerdy or whatever it is. Android has the image of being cool. It even has a cool logo. It's a cool platform. It's open source. Even with Chromecast, there's just cool things going on. And Google owns Android, obviously, and it's just a lot of fun to use. So Apple has a hard time even saying anything negative about the experience they like to talk about, you know, on the Android device. So they're just gonna lie about it. So those are my opinions. You guys can tell me what you think. Post a comment down below, and of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You're a bunch of liars, Apple. Bunch of liars.